Hi everyone. In the previous part, we have gone through the first four types of methods of food preservation that is asepsis, removal of microorganisms, modification of environmental conditions, use of high temperature. And in this part, we are going to discuss about the rest of the five types of methods of food preservation that is use of low temperature, drying or water removal, decrease of water availability, chemical preservation and irradiation. So let's move to the fifth type of food preservation method. So we have seen all these methods, isn't it? So the fifth type is low temperature use or use of low temperature. Cooling down of a food from ordinary temperatures has a different effect on the various organisms present. A drop of 10 degrees Celsius might be uh, stopping the growth of some organisms and slow down the growth of others also. So here two categories of low temperature storages are differentiated. One is chill storage and second one is a freeze storage. Then what is a chill storage? Chilling storage is at temperatures typically 0 to 5 degrees centigrade. Chill storage may be used as a main preservative method for foods or for temporary preservation. And this chill storage is not that much uh, applicable for all types of food. Mostly perishable foods such as eggs, dairy products, meats, seafood, vegetable and food may be held in chilling storage for a limited period. And then coming to the second type of uh, freezing storage that is we had discussed about the chilling storage where the temperature is 0 to 5 degrees centigrade and then coming to the freezing storage. Freezing is the most successful technique for long time preservation of food since nutrient content is largely retained and the product resembles the fresh material. Food begins to freeze somewhere in the range of minus, uh, uh, minus 18 to minus 34 degrees centigrade or even less than minus 18 degrees also. And here we are going to uh, preserve most of the foods and we can have the longevity of the foods. That's all about the low temperature methods, that is a usage of low temperatures. One is a chill storage method and another one is the free storage method. Then we'll move to the sixth type of uh, food preservation method that is drying or removal of water or dehydration. Anything you can write it. So under this we are going to see the sun drying, freeze drying or drying by mechanical dryers. Preservation of foods by drying has been practiced for centuries. Example. Uh, after the harvesting, the grains were sun dried, isn't it? That is the most uh, oldest ancient practice that was being used in making the grains to preserve. So, most foods, however, contain enough moisture to permit action by their own enzymes and by microorganisms. So, that to preserve them by dryness and removal of moisture is necessary. For that reason only we are drying them. And this drying can be attained either by keeping in the sun drying or by freeze drying that is a, a sublimation method where directly they are being the water is being removed uh, water means in the evaporation form and the third one is by mechanical dryers. And these are all being used for uh, different kinds of the foods for example sun drying is used in uh, certain foods like grains, uh, raisins, figs, apricots, nectarians, uh, pears and peaches. And then drying uh, by mechanical dryers is mainly used in liquid foods such as milk, juices and uh, soups. Okay. And then freeze drying uh, is being utilized uh, in some of the foods such as meat, poultry, seafood, fruits and the vegetables. Then coming to the seventh type of uh, food 
food preservation method that is decrease of water availability the water activity of a product can be lowered by the addition of solutes such as salt and sugar for example dried fish may be heavily salted so that the moisture is drawn from the flesh and bound by the solute and hence is unavailable to the microorganisms in the same manner sugars may be added as in a sweetened condensed milk to reduce the amount of available moisture and honey is the best example to emphasize the preservative value of high solute concentration so salting and drying of fish and meats have been a common practice even today for the preservation of those perishable foods and even hard cheeses are also preserved by salting then moving to the next uh, method of preservation that is chemical preservative uh, by using the chemical preservatives that is chemical preservation very often a number of chemicals either singly or in combinations are intentionally added to the foods to obtain a desired quality of prolong the shelf life these chemicals are broadly classified into two types how many types two types so what are they food additive and food preservation what do you mean by food additive a food additive is a substance other than the basic food intentionally added to modify food texture flavor nutrition quality or color is being called as food additive then what do you mean by food preservative so here uh, it have to come as a preservative so i'll change this one just a minute preservative substances which are added to prevent the deterioration or decomposition of the food substances which are added to prevent the deterioration or decomposition of the food is being called as food preservative food additive which will be added intentionally to increase the food texture flavor but here preservative are added to prevent the deterioration or decomposition of food there are uh, several chemical preservatives but basically uh, the chemical preservatives which are most importantly used are organic and some are inorganic preservatives coming to the organic preservatives we are going to have examples as acetic acid citric acid sorbic acid benzoic lactate or lactic acid propionic acid and going on for example take this a uh, sorbic acid where this uh, sorbate or sorbic acid is mainly used in cheeses preservation cheese products or baked goods syrups food juices jellies going on etc and then coming to your benzoates benzoate is mainly incorporated to into jams jellies carbonated beverages your food salads pickles etc and then you can go with the acetate or acetic acid it is mainly in the form of vinegar used as used in pickles ketchup and pickle sausage and pig's baits so that's how these organic uh, acids and esters are being uh, used in different preservation of different kinds of foods then coming to the inorganic preservatives that we are using especially are nitrates and nitrate right compounds and the second one is sulfur dioxide and sulfides this is not sulfides it is sulfides okay coming to the nitrides and the nitrates uh, nitri uh, these salts are being used in curing solutions and curing mixtures for meats and then coming to the sulfur dioxide and sulfides the today the uh, these are used in the wine industry to sanitize equipment that means whatever the equipment they are using and to reduce the normal flow of the grape must the fumes of this sulfur uh, burning sulfur are used to treat most light colored dehydrated foods dehydrated vegetables or exposed to 
spray of neutral bisulfides and sulfides before they are drying. So in addition to this antimicrobial action of sulfides, they are also used to prevent enzymatic and non-enzymatic changes or discoloration in some foods. So that's all about the food preservation by chemical preservatives. Then the third, last type the last type is a radiation method. So here microwave uh, radiation that we are going to use, then UV radiation, then ionizing, ionization uh, rays. So that's how we are going to have the three types of radiations in which uh, in food industry we are going to use this one. Microwave radiation is this method is used both commercially and uh, domestically but uh, microwaves are being openly used in the domestic purposes more often than in the industrial purpose. Then coming to the UV radiation is commonly used in the depuration of uh, cell fish to disinfect the water recirculated through depuration tanks. Then ionization rays which are nothing but gamma and x-rays are mainly applied in decontamination of food ingredients like spices, delay in food maturation, destruction of parasites and meats, insect disinfection of grains. So or in the radiation type of preservation method, most often the ionization rays are being used, that is gamma rays and x-rays are being applied uh, mostly in the uh, food industry when compared to the other rays. Okay, so that's all uh, about uh, all these types of food preservation. Okay, that uh, how this food preservation topic is going to end. So just uh, thank you.